Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about modular arithmetic. So first of all, we will study about the modulus. Suppose a is an integer and n is a positive integer. Then a mod n is the remainder which we will get when we divide a by n. The integer n is called modulus. For example, 11 mod 7 is 4 because when we divide 11 by 7, then we will get remainder 4. Similarly, minus 11 mod 7 is equal to 3 because when we divide minus 11 by 7, we get remainder 3. Two integers a and b are said to be concurrent modulo n if a mod n is equal to b mod n. It means that uh, when uh, we divide a by n and when we divide b by n, in both cases we will get same remainder. When a and b are said to be concurrent modulo n, then it can be written as like this. Uh, for example, you can see here, here it is written that 73 and 4 are concurrent modulo 23. It means when we divide 73 by 23 and when we divide 4 by 23, in both cases we will get same remainder. Now let us see the properties of congruences. First, you can see that a and b are congruent modulo n if a minus b is divisible by n. Second is, a and b are congruent modulo n, then it implies that b and a are also congruent modulo n. Third is, a and b are congruent modulo n and b and c are congruent modulo n, then it implies a and c are also congruent modulo n. It means if a mod n is equal to b mod n and b mod n is equal to c mod n, then it implies that a mod n is equal to c mod n. Right. So it means that uh, if after dividing a and b by n we get same remainder and also after dividing b and c by n then also we will get same remainder then it implies that if we divide a and c by n then the remainder in both the cases will be same. So next is the mod n operator maps all integers into the set of integers having elements 0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to n minus 1. Because when we divide any integer by n, then we will get the remainder 0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to n minus 1, right? When uh, an integer is divided by n, then we will get uh, a remainder either 0 or 1 or 2, so on up to n minus 1. Now, the modular arithmetic exhibits the following properties. First one is, if we take mod n of a mod n plus b mod n, then it will be equal to a plus b mod n. If we take mod n of a mod n minus b mod n, then it will be equal to mod n of a minus b. Similarly, you can see here, if we take mod n of a mod n into b mod n, then it will be equal to a into b mod n. Mod n of a into b. Now see, if a plus b and a plus c, they are congruent modulo n. It means if we divide a plus b by n and if we divide a plus c by n, then we get same remainder. If this is the case, then b and c, they are also congruent modulo n. It means if this one is true, then if we divide b and c by n, and then we will also get same remainder in both cases, right? So if a plus b and a plus c are congruent modulo n, then b and c are also congruent modulo n. Now see the next property. If a into b and a into c are congruent modulo n and a is relatively prime to n, then b and c are also congruent modulo n. Right? So it means that from this inequality, if in this inequality a is relatively prime to n, then we can remove a from both sides. And if we remove a from both sides in this inequality, then we will get this one. So what is the meaning of re, uh, being relatively prime? Two integers are relatively prime if their only common positive integer factor is 1. 